Today, we shall take a look at a typical day in the life of asset maintenance. Meet Alice. She's a maintenance manager for the French division of ABC Industrial Works. She has just received a call from engineering saying that management has decided to replace electric heating elements with gas heating at their Tumas plant. So her first step is to check any existing work orders for this service task or create a new one. First, Alice navigates to her equipment. In this case, it's the equipment in SAP Asset Intelligence Network. She can check the maintenance schedule of the heaters. She sees there are five heaters installed in the plant that need to be modified, and so she picks up the first one. She makes a quick check to see if there are any existing work orders for the equipment, and there aren't any. So she just needs to focus on the current request and not consider any existing issues with the heater. She next navigates to announcements to see if there is any information published by the manufacturer about this model that she needs to be aware of. Indeed, there is an announcement from the manufacturer about the release of a service manual that explains how to change the sources of heating from electric to gas. And now it's time to provide some notes for the service technician who will be performing the maintenance. To get an idea of the place where the equipment is located, Alice uses MySurvey, a 3D point cloud visualization solution from Quadrica, which is integrated with SAP Asset Intelligence Network via extension points. She navigates to the tile Locations in MySurvey to launch the 3D point cloud view of the Tumas plant so that she can load the site information. Next, she wants to zoom in to the equipment she is interested in, namely the heaters. To do this, she goes to the Equipment in My Survey app to pull up the equipment she is interested in. She chooses the tab My Survey Connector and then selects Focus in My Survey in order to view the equipment in the site. To view the exact equipment, she chooses Select in My Survey and now the actual equipment is highlighted. It's now time to perform some measurements for the service technician. Using the tools in my survey, Alice quickly maps out the height of the heating element from the floor, thereby quickly determining how high a ladder is needed. Next, she uses my survey to map out a pipe from the gas source to the heating element. She can find out how long the pipe needs to be and how many elbow joints are needed. She quickly documents this information in my survey which she then exports back to SAP Asset Intelligence Network so that it can be made available to the service provider technicians. Note how she can use the various camera angles in the red box on the top left to get the perfect view she needs to make her measurements. Meanwhile, the work order has been assigned to Bob, who works as a service provider for ABC Industrial Works. He sees that he needs to lay gas pipes for the heating elements, but before gathering his crew and equipment to set out to work at a plant 150 kilometers away, Bob launches my survey to get a feel for the plant site. Not only does he now know the orientation of the equipment at the plant, he also has a fair idea of what kind of welding equipment needs to be carried. And thanks to Alice's notes, he also knows precisely how high a ladder is needed, how long pipes are needed, and how many elbow joints he needs to carry with him but Alice has not documented how thick the pipes must be, so Bob does a quick check of the diameter of the pipes using the cylinder control, and now is all ready for the site visit. He updates the work order with the necessary information and is good to go. As you can see, using Quadrica's My Survey together with SAP Intelligent Asset Management facilitates safe and economical asset maintenance. Site visits of remote locations can be better planned, complex maintenance tasks can be simulated before actually visiting the site, and when combined with IoT sensor data, service crews can be even better prepared. If you would like to learn more, please get in touch. Quadrica built this integration as part of the SAP Startup Accelerator Programme.